Jacob Kirkbride, SAFC Fan TV, final score tonight, MK Dons nil, Sunderland free, Sunderland go through to the semi-finals of the Papa John's Pizza Trophy. But most importantly tonight also, as I should know, SAFC Fan TV has reached 5,000 subscribers. So we'd like to thank all the people that have made that possible um, since we started back in June 2019. It's been a memorable journey and this channel is going to grow and grow and hopefully in the future we can do things that we never thought we'd be able to do if we were having this conversation a year earlier. But back onto the game tonight, Dino, a 3-0 win um, on a mud pit of a pitch, I must say. Um, it reminded me of Tranmere's pitch when we went there and won nil last season. But then again, it's about what you do when you put with a side in front of you on the pool pitch and it's about getting the job done and the boys done that terrifically tonight. Yeah, it was... Uh, uh, oh, uh, someone was echoing there, I don't know if that was me, but uh, yeah, um, I, I, I like the, the starting lineup. I thought John Jones, he looked good. He, lo he looked really good. He, he looked yeah. a class above, to be fair. Um, it was good to see Luke O9 in the centre, but I felt so sorry for him having to go back to left back. But when he went left back, he put in a shift. He was re he was really good at left back, but he was really I thought he offered with something different in centre midfield. I thought MK Dons only started getting on top of her when Luke O9 had to go to left back because we we lost the energy. He's a athleticism because he was winning headers, he was winning tackles, he was making good forward passes and movement. And as soon as he went to left back, I felt like they started winning the midfield battle a bit more when he when he left. But Daniel came on, done a good job. I thought Daniel was quite good. Um, going into the break at 1-0. It was 1-0, wasn't it? Uh, mm, yeah. Going into the break. Um, I mean, we, we did ride with luck. I know Jack Jack Diamond deflected deflected their uh, cross went in. But you know what? I'll take it. I will take it because we've been we've had some unlucky stuff go against us. So it's about time some luck goes our way. It's 1-0. Not a bad half. I know MK Don's got on top, but I still I didn't think what we were too bad. The pitch didn't help matters to be fair. Um second half. Um it was a bit scrappy, don't get us wrong. It was a, it was a it was a scrappy game second half, but when he made the four substitutions, I mean I think it changed the game. I thought Ledbetter bossed the centre midfield. I thought we looked better with Ledbetter in the centre. Charlie White, great header. What a header for the goal. It was a that's what I want to see from Charlie Wake. This is why he got criticised last season and at the start of the season because he wasn't doing it. He leapt at the front post and got his head on it. It was a great goal. And uh, McGeady, the keeper should have done better, 100%. The keeper should have done better. Like like Conrad said at the time, Chris Packett for hands. Just, I don't know. I don't know how he didn't keep a hold of it, but I'll take it again. I'll take it again. Remy Matthews played really well in goal. I normally criticise him. He played really well. It was a clean sheet. And it's positive signs, but that's not. I know we're playing them on Saturday, so don't think this results just automatically yeah. determines we're going to win on Saturday because that's not the case. Every game's different. So mm. yeah, I, I was I was impressed to be fair. Mm. I mean, Conrad, we got the job done tonight, but the big question is what will Lee Johnson change in terms of his team selection going into Saturday's league game? Because looking at the table now and potentially games that are taking place tonight we do really need those three points on Saturday don't we but there were some standout performers tonight in the likes of Jones, Luco 9 we finally got to see him play in a midfield role will Lee Johnson be looking to keep a similar formula going into Saturday or are you expecting some sort of tactical changes on his point of view? Yeah uh... I don't know. I'd keep it fairly similar. Maybe like one change. It depends on on what if McFadden's in, or if you're just going to go all out for Vokins to come in at left back at this point. He might think oh, 09 did all right and keep the the back four that sort of like kept going with that. But I think you'd probably end up going a, a proper right back, uh, left back. Sorry, in in Vokins. Um, I'd like to see oh, 09 back in the midfield because it was 26 minutes. It was 26 minutes of hard tackles going in, winning the ball energy and effort. Um, obviously, I think Weich will, will come in up, up the top. Um, then it's who do you take off? Do you take out O'Brien? I thought he was fine tonight. Or do you put, take out Gooch? He was all right. He had a lot of energy and a lot of uh, enthusiasm. He ran through for the, the first goal, of course, on there. Um, and he just thought, he always seems like he's he's thinking, right, I've got to drive forward. And it's the same with Jones. Like Diana said, as soon as he got the ball, he just drives forward. And, and that's a bit of what we've, what we've been missing. And hopefully Diamond will pick that up off them because 
in the second half when Diamond actually started to get on the ball and run at them a bit more, they they looked scared of him. And in the first half, it was a bit sort of bitty and he didn't quite sort of get get it under his feet and get a proper run on it. So I wouldn't want to make too many changes, you know, and, and hopefully the pitch isn't worse on Saturday than it is tonight, um, you know, weather depending after, after it goes on. But I think there's a lot of positives to take forward. Just don't tinker too much if it's not needed. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you were touching on Jack Diamond there, comrade. I thought he had an excellent game tonight. And we broke forward with a lot of pace this evening because we played with a high press. And I think when Diamond's playing in a counter-attack inside that likes to go with a high press early early on in the game, um, it can cause damage to an opposition. It's a shame that the goal wasn't given to him tonight because he put in a very good display, didn't he, Dino? I thought Diamond was excellent. I thought first half he was, he wasn't quite at his first half. I didn't think, but second half, he he, he was drawing fouls from their players. He was closing down. I mean, I, I was very impressed with the high press today. I felt like we made them give the ball back to her. Don't get us wrong. MK Don's played some nice stuff sometimes and did get a get around our press, but that will happen from time to time. But I thought we closing down very well. We were very unlucky with some of the mistakes that we're making because we didn't capitalise because maybe the surface just wasn't run the ball wasn't running with the surface or it was just a slight touch ahead of them. But we're closing down really well. We we're forcing them mistakes and maybe on another day we would have capitalised if it wasn't for our pitches and the rain and just being a bit unlucky at the same time. But Diamond second half, I thought he was outstanding. He was getting at their players. He was cutting in on the inside, going on the outside, whipping balls in. He was it was very impressive and I mean it just shows, doesn't it, if you go with some of these younger players, what Parkinson didn't do, he wouldn't start Diamond, he he was too scared. This is what this is why I like Lee Johnson. He's given some youth a chance, he's changing things. I mean, look what he's done. He's dropped Max Power to right back to play Luke 09 in the centre. Parkinson would have never done that in a million years. And it does change the team how it how it goes forward. I really do. I think I think Luke 09 offers a lot more in the centre than he does right back. And I think Max Power offers more right back than he does centre mid. So I think Lee Johnson is getting it right at the moment. And I'm quite impressed. And I was I was actually quite impressed with it today. And it's a clean sheet. Clean sheet. Yeah, I know Remy course. Matthews pulled off one or two saves. And well done to Remy Matthews. He made them, some of them saves might have been a bit harder with the surface. But well done. It, it was a great... I thought it was a really good performance. Mm. I mean, Conrad, they... MK Dons had sort of half chances at various points in the game tonight, but overall we were in cruise control of that game, weren't we? Even when Luke 09 had to go to left back, which was heartbreaking because when we were watching the stream, mm. we were just appreciating his his pressing game that he offered in the first few minutes and also his, his quality passing and how quick he can break with the ball as well. And we just hope that potentially, as it Vokes can come in at left back on Saturday, and then 09 could be move further up the pitch because on his day he's he's just such a, a natural talent against League One opposition, isn't he? Mm, it's just I think it's just the way he plays football. It's just refreshing to see. But he he plays like like he wants to win. He's not got any other agenda about it. He's just out there to do his job and make sure the team win. And that's what's that's what's good about him. Um, I'm just trying to think what the first part of your question was because I've just fallen down a Luco <laughs> nine hole just to, just admiring <laughs> no, the beauty no, of the man. Um, seriously, what was your question? <laughs> I'm old. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to ask you a different question. Okay, cool. <laughs> Actually, oh, can I ask a question? Can I ask go, a question? Go who for it. You, who do you drop in the centre? Because Scowen, as you know, is one of the favourites of uh, Lee Johnson, and Grand Ledbetter is normally always in there. So who do you drop? Ledbetter mm. was out tonight, wasn't he? Just because of of oh nine. But if you, I mean, I'd have to do my research. If that was MK Dons's normal midfield, I'd be quite happy with the same two again. Um, but if you sort of think, oh, they're going to put someone else in there who's maybe a bit stronger, then maybe I, I'm I might take oh nine off for, for Ledbetter just to sort of see how they they come at us in the in the next bit. But I, it's like it's it's a balancing act for it's, them, it's isn't vice it? Vice versa, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, my how I see it is our strongest midfield three at the moment is definitely 9 uh, Scowen and Ledbetter. Personally, I think Lee Johnson will go with that on Saturday, but only, but, only time will tell. Dean, I'll go. Once if he plays with two in the midfield. Because mm, he'll want whip with Jones, wouldn't he? Because his pace mm. was electrifying tonight, wasn't it? Yeah. And Diamond, again, was causing them a threat. So why not just go pick up where you left off, carry on again? 
Yeah, and but I think he may want Charlie White coming back into the starting line at winning, but oh, Charlie Conrad, will come back in the start, yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Considering he's our top goal scorer this season, even though yeah. Aidan O'Brien did well tonight in terms of his hold up play, Conrad, I'm going to ask you: Can we go all the way in the EFL Trophy this season? I'm, go- I'm going to quote Gus Poyet when they asked him when we were at Old Trafford when they said, "Can you win it?" and he just said, "Of course we can. Why not?" <laughs> Dino, I'll throw the same question onto you, mate. Yeah, of course we can. We've we've been there once. We've got the experience. We've played. We've played big teams in this competition. Um, well, I say big teams, but big teams for this competition anyway. It was the two biggest just, teams in it at that point when Buzz and Portsmouth were playing in it. It's fair to say. Yeah, basically. So in the next in in the next round, I mean, do you want to have a harder next round to have an easier final? But you're not guaranteed to play Tramia. I would take right. Tramia in the next round just so we could get the final. I can't even remember the full time. I know Lincoln and Hull are still playing. So where are we at? Oxford are beating Wimbledon 3-1 with a couple of minutes left. Tranmere are 2-0 up against Peterborough with two minutes left. And Hull and Lincoln are at half time at 1-0 to Lincoln. Mm. See, I feel like we've got some unfinished business in this competition because we didn't win it the first time. We didn't really take it seriously the second season. Mm. I think this should be our season. I think we've got unfinished business. And I know everyone says it's a Tim Pot trophy, but I want to be in it to win it. So yeah, does that. if we're in it, I want to win the competitions. Absolutely. But the most important thing is we have to do what Portsmouth failed to do back in 2019, where you win the competition, but win promotion that very same season, because promotion is the main priority. But it will still be absolutely fantastic for this club uh, to win silverware this season, what we failed to do in the same competition two years ago. The most heartbreaking thing is, though, how will fans be allowed in? And Probably not. the way how things are going, no. it's looking very, very unlikely. But, you know, from if that's the case, watching on our TV screens will show the full passion and support that all the lads are deserving, yeah. all the lads deserve. But we've still got one more game to go. Uh, we're in the semi finals of the Papa John's Pizza Trophy. Um, thank you guys for joining us tonight on our live stream on SAFC Fan TV and also the Mad Mistake with his fantastic commentary and also not forgetting my. Brilliant John Motson impression. Pat yourself on the back there, Jacob. Go on, son. <laughs> yeah, the, the sheepskin coat may need a wash if I use it again. We're going to have to work on some sort of concept videos for that, I think. That would be a great um, one. <laughs> we'll have to try and maybe fit it in somehow in the future. But anyway, <coughs> I'm up my throat. Corona. The impression. But um, thank you for joining us tonight, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, congratulations. Also to our fantastic channel, SAFC Fan TV, for reaching 5,000 subscribers. We wouldn't have got there, though, without your help. So big thank you to you. And I want to say this video tonight, um, it goes out to the legend that is Sir Captain Tom Moore. Sadly passed away um, at the age of 100 today. Absolute hero, raising so much money uh, for the NHS. Um, a true legend, an inspiration to all. Um, RIP, mate. Uh, Honestly, such, such a fantastic human being. And um, from all of us here at SAFC Fan TV, uh, we send the condolences out to you and your family at this difficult time. But um, yeah, we're in the semi-finals. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You're watching SAFC Fan TV.